So people play FIFA week in and week out, playing for champions, division rivals, and always constantly wondering why are they not improving? Why are they not hitting those new ranks in champs or in rivals? Well, today we're going to be talking to you about two things where you can't do both at the same time and expect to get those results. I literally have it all the time in our Twitch stream where people ask, Al, I've been playing the game for months and months and months and I'm still hitting 11 wins, 9 wins, 14 wins. I can't break out a Division 2, Division 5, whatever it may be. And they wonder why. And we sit there and we ask them, well, what is it that you're doing? And they say, I've tried all these formations. I've tried learning green time finishing, right stick switching. I've tried to become more clinical, but nothing is working for me. Well, the simple answer put is that you can't do two of these things at the same time. To start off with, formations and tactics are a huge thing on FIFA. It's one of the most YouTube search terms when people look to try and improve. They want the best tactics. They want the best formation. They want to copy some of the best FIFA players in the world. And in doing so, they change maybe their play style to what they've been used to. They completely change up their formation and their tactics, and they try and improve and get better results. Now, in some cases, you may come across a formation that you like and that suits you. But in other cases, you may not. And with that constant change of formation, you're making it very difficult for yourself to improve at FIFA. And then we look at the other end of the scale and we say fundamentals. With that right six switching and with green time finishing, just passing, anything that it may be, it's very difficult to improve on those fundamentals when you haven't nailed your formation. Let's just take it for an example. You play against an opponent who has been playing the 4-2-3-1 for 350 games. You've recently saw a new YouTube video from a YouTuber or pro telling you that the 4321 is the best formation. So you log in and you give it a go and you think, yes, that's really good. But at the same time, you know your defending probably isn't quite up to par. That's something that you need to work on. Or maybe you haven't developed your skill moves. You don't know how to do step overs or reverse elasticos. Do you think you that has played 10 games with a 4321? versus an opponent who's been using their formation for 350 games stands an equal chance. Simply put, the answer is no. The opponent that is used to their formation, their attacking movement, their defensive movement, how their team moves as a unit, how it moves up the pitch, will be more familiar with what's going on in comparison to yourself. So then, the player that's been using that same formation can identify something that's wrong in their game. Let's take, for example, they're not very good at right stick switching. It's much easier to practice right stick switching when you're in formations that you are comfortable with, that you know. You know where the winger is going to be. You know where the fullback will be in relation to that winger because you've played with that formation for so long and you understand it at its core. But then you grab someone else and they've just jumped into a new formation and they say, oh, I want to practice my right stick switching but they still don't understand how their AI moves when it attacks, when it defends, what happens in the final third, what happens when an opponent plays an over-the-top through ball. There are so many extra things that come into account when taking on that. So you're sat there and you're saying, I want to get more wins, I want to improve at FIFA, but you keep constantly changing that tactic, that formation, and you're not giving yourself time to really understand the game at the core level. Formations do play a big part. There are certain formations that counter other formations. There are certain things that people do in tactic and formational setups that make it very difficult to play against. But for yourself, if you are not comfortable in what you play and your play style, it then makes it so much harder to practice the fundamentals of FIFA. So you really do need to just nail down on something that suits you. Now, you might say, but I don't know what formation that I like. And that's where you do need to experiment. And I'm fine with you experimenting with all the different formations. But when you are practicing formations, you have to put to the side the fundamentals of FIFA. Again, that right stick switching, the skill moves, your attacking movement, how you want to play, things like that. You have to almost say to yourself, I can't begin practicing step overs if that's something that you want to learn while I'm still trying to practice this formation and understanding how it plays and what you look for in the attack, what you look for in defense and what you look for in the middle of the park. They can't work hand in hand together. You can't compute what is going on. 
So you have to just say, right, this is going to be the next 50 games of focusing on this formation. And then once you feel comfortable in that formation, that's when you move back to the fundamentals. When we watch some of the best FIFA players in the world, we kind of look at it and we say, well, why did they do this skill move? Why did they do this attacking pattern? How did they use this triangle? How did they use that German cross? And if you were to get in their head at that time, it doesn't come down to them saying, oh, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to look for. It comes down to muscle memory and just instinct playing in flow state. When you can be intuitive in FIFA and you just play with what you know is best, what, what you have in that moment, that's when you perform at your best. But to go back to it, you can't play in flow. You can't be intuitive if you don't understand how your 4-4-2 sets up or how your 4-3-2-1 plays. It simply put isn't possible. You can't know that if you lay the ball out to the wing and then you can look for a step over to attack on that inside space if you haven't done it 50, 60, 70, 100 times before. That knowledge just simply put isn't there. You don't know what you don't know, right? That's something that people don't seem to understand that you could show a clip back to someone else on FIFA and they won't be able to tell you what you should have done because if they don't know it, you're not going to be able to say, yeah, that's what you should have done. So that's a really big part when it comes down to developing and getting better in FIFA. Of not, you don't know what you don't know. So how do you take this advice and how do you actually put it into practice? As I said, if you've been playing a specific formation and you are happy with it and it works for you, brilliant. Move on to the fundamentals. Identify what's not working for you. Are you leaking goals? Are you not scoring enough? Are you losing the battle in the middle of the park? Are you predictable in attack? Do you not have crosses down? Do you not have over the top three balls down? Quick tick attacker, possession, do you not see out the game? All of those things that come with fundamentals. If you are happy with those formations, let's start working on those fundamentals. But if you're sat there and you're saying, yeah, actually I've changed my formation probably you know, two times a week or I've not stuck with a formation for longer than 50 games, you need to kind of wind it back a little bit. Go back to the formations, get used to how it attacks. And what we mean by that is the attacking patterns. What's the sort of re repetition that we look for to try and force our way through? Where will the winger be when the ball's out on the opposite side of the pitch? How will my fullback interact with that? And what about the centre mids? Whatever it is in that formation. How does it defend? Do you need to bring the midfielders back? Do they need to sit a little bit higher in this formation to maybe one that you've been playing previously? How does the fullbacks interact in this formation with what the opponent has? Because that's also a massive part to it. You may play your 4-4-2 for 100 games. How many times do you play the 4-4-2 versus the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow? Maybe 10? That's why having that formation familiarity can help you so much from having that. So play with that formation loads of times, tinker with the tactics as and when, and then when you feel comfortable with it, that's when we can go back to those fundamentals and start practicing whatever else is wrong in your game, be it right stick switching, defending, lack of crossing, finishing the ball, skill moves, so many things that play a part to you become a better FIFA player. If you can do this and you can do this over time at the course of six months, 12 months, you will reap the benefits and you will get better in division rivals, in foot champs, whatever it may be. So really take some time to think about this and understand, is this something that you've maybe been doing and you've fallen guilty of just staying at that same rank over and over and over again? And give it some time and some patience. And I promise you, you will reap the benefits from it. If you need further help on FIFA, you can click this video here to get our most up-to-date tactics.